Good morning, Bulls. I'm Kelsey Lee. And I'm Cecilia Marty, and welcome to Bullseye News. Today is October 22nd, 2021. Let's get to today's announcements. Homecoming week is less than two weeks away. As a reminder, it runs from November 1st through the 6th. SGA wants everyone to get into the spirit that week. So here's a quick video breaking down the dress up days. Monday is Matching Monday. Match with your best friend or your squad. Tuesday is Tacky Tourist Day. Wear your Hawaiian shirts and your sandals and your fanny packs. Wednesday is Mathletes versus Athletes. Make sure you guys wear your jerseys. Or be a nerd for a day. Thursday is PCHS Letter Day, so dress up as your grades letter. P is for freshmen, and some examples will be a pig, a pear, or a pirate. C is sophomore, so dress up as a cow, a cat, a chef, or cab driver. H is for juniors, so you can dress up as Hannah Montana, Hello Kitty, or a hobo. <laughs> S is for seniors, so you can dress up as a salt, sloth, a snake, or a star. Friday is Spirit Day, so wear your Clash of Classes shirt or just your bulls. As a reminder, you still need to follow dress code that week. You can have accessories like hats and glasses to complete your costume. Along with dressing up, there are a bunch of activities happening throughout the week including a kickball game, bonfire, tailgate, and the homecoming game. Are you ready for the dance? It's November 6th with a classic Hollywood theme. Tickets are now on sale for $30. Take a second to scan the QR code on your screen to buy your tickets. Cecilia, do you have your dress yet? Yes, I do, Kelsey. What color is it? Mm, I think I'm going to keep that a secret. Okay. Switching gears to today's lunch. We have the options of chicken parm lasagna with steamed corn and wing zings with a biscuit. Now let's pass it over to our reporter Emily catching you up on everything you need to know. Hi, I'm Emily and let's get started. The Bulls swim team had a strong race last Saturday. Let's take a look. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Today, they are off campus getting ready to compete in the district swim meet. Each swimmer is hoping to score their best time and advance to regionals. Swim fast, Bulls! The boys and girls golf team head to their district tournaments next Monday. Here's a list of those competing. We wish them the best of luck. The varsity football team are hitting the road this evening to take on the Eagles in Kissimmee. The next home game will be in two weeks. Now, turning to the weather. We've had some cooler starts in the morning down into the 60s. Here's a look at the forecast for this weekend. To wrap things up here, let's take a look at our weekly edition of Senior Spotlight. So what's your name? Hey, so I'm Juliana Lugo. Where are you from? I am from Parrish, Florida. So what school did you attend before coming to PCHS? Um, before going to PCHS, I went to Brand River High. Do you do any hobbies or clubs inside and out of school? Outside of school, I do piano and vocals, and then in school, I participate in both choir and theater. So what are you working on in choir and theater right now? Um, in theater, we are doing the Crucible, which I am stage managing, so you can see like have a seat. Um, we're trying to keep everything smooth, but in drama club, we're practicing for winter play. Do you have any advice for the underclassmen? Um, since COVID is like getting over, new doors are opening, so like put yourself out there, join clubs, go to the games, like have that normal high school experience. Also try to avoid unnecessary drama because it really does distract you from school and school is your biggest priority since after this you're either going to go to college, trade school, whatever your plans are, you get a proper education. Thank you, Juliana. Back to you, Kelsey and Cecilia. Thanks, Emily. HOSA hopes you're wearing your pink today, since we want to show our support for Breast Cancer Awareness Day. We're wearing our pink. And just a reminder, teachers, if you want to announce anything on the news, email us at pchstvproduction at gmail.com. That concludes this segment of Bullseye News. Thank you for watching, and as always, Go, go Bulls! Bulls.